Now that we have our floor plan, we can start adding our walls. Go to the ArchViz tab. I'll make this full screen. Move that out of the way. I'll zoom this in enough so I can see the whole floor plan. Pick the wall tool. Over here, I'm going to make sure that the height is set to 8 feet. And I'll turn on Show Distance. Then I'll start. You can start from any corner you want, but I'll start from this one. Click here. If you don't hold Control, it'll just go anywhere. So I'm going to hold the control key and place it right at that corner. Then, if you find it's created outside the wall, you might have left clicked. So pick right, and it will solve the problem. Hold control and drag down. Control, control. When you get to the last wall, instead of drawing it in, you can just click the close button and it will finish it off for you. Now I'm going to right click to drop the tool while still keeping it active, and I can start drawing the inner walls. Click here, drag across. And you can see it's on the wrong side, so I'll click left. Right click, then click, and drag up here. You want to make sure that add is selected here. That way it will merge the new wall with the current wall. Right click, drag up. Create this one, click this corner and drag down. It's facing the wrong way, so click right. Click this corner, drag up. Now we have all of their inner walls. Looks like there are a couple of OpenGL errors. The easy way to fix that is to just click the top one, then Shift T to triple them all. Here are a couple on the bottom as well, so do the same thing. Now that the walls are finished, we can add the floor. Just go to the ArchViz tab, click the Floor tool, and click somewhere in the top viewport. Right now it's making a ceiling, but I can move this over, and I can just click Floor. You can see from the side view that it is placed below the ground plane. Now to create this outer deck area. On the Primitives tab, click the Line tool. Click here, and again holding Control, click each of the corners. It'll snap to near. As you can see in the snap panel, I have near, end, and projection snap on. Continue clicking. Now 
And again, you can just click close. Press enter when finished. Back in the quad view, select the shape. On the primitives tab is curve to poly, which will create a polygon out of that shape. The polygon is flipped, so press F to flip it over. Now on the Edit tab, under Mass Edit, pick Mass Extrude, then just drag in the viewport to extrude it up or down. I'll extrude it 6 inches up, and that's it for our deck.